Keys and Talks, the third Sunday of every month. Hi, on this hot and muggy morning, I'm uh, here at St. Lawrence's Church here near Caterham. We want to come here for quite a while actually. It's, uh, it's about a Norman church built around 1095. So it's very ancient and there is evidence that it could have been an ancient settlement here beforehand. It's a beautiful church. But it's also a tower of two churches because opposite is the newer church of St. Mary's built in 1866. And I find that quite intriguing. I'm here really to look at St Lawrence, but we'll have a look across the road and have a look at um, the other church later on. We're right by a main road, unfortunately, so we're going to have traffic going back and forth. So let's have a little look around. We've had a little bit of rain, so the smells of the flowers and the fauna is gorgeous. Nice, nice little church, aren't all very ancient church. I'm very, looks very Victorian. Unfortunately, it's closed. We can't get in, which is a shame. It is open intermittently throughout the year. Teas and talks the third Sunday of every month. Now apparently there's some medieval graffiti somewhere. I don't really know where it is. I know I saw a sort of sort of photo and it's on it. It's interesting with the church opposite, and if people do know this, please type below and let me know. Why build a brand new church when you've got an existing church already? All right. It's had much modification, it's been extended, but in 1866, in the Victorian era, they just built a new church, directly opposite. Why not just expand on the church you've already got? Was the congregation getting larger as Caterham was becoming more of a larger town? Interesting to know your thoughts on that. It's a lovely stump of a tree here. These old stocks in a churchyard? When I was doing my research on this place, um, I came across a website that says St Lawrence's and a few other ancient sites uh, around Surrey are all linked by a network of ley lines. Uh, ley lines are a straight alignment of sacred and ancient sites. Um, although I'm a dowser, things with the rods, um, I'm always a little bit critical because if you take an ordnance survey map, get two pre-positioned uh, sites across a couple of miles maybe, draw a straight line, there's chances are you'll find other things within that line that might be deemed as ancient. So um, I'm always a little bit wary when I hear the word ley line. Um, I'm more interested in earth energy and earth energy currents, um, like the ones that uh, go from Avebury up to Hopton Church, down to Cornwall, St Michael and Mary line. Um, so they are ley lines a little bit sceptical of. Um, but these ancient structures, why were they put here? Are these on the sites of um, very, very ancient uh, worship sites from Neolithic man, Iron Age onwards, maybe before? Most churches are built on ancient sites anyway. So it's interesting if there is a connection. This one connects to Children Church, not too far from here, two miles that way. Um, goes down to Betworth Castle is in this ley line. Um, some tumuli, 
so yeah, maybe worth exploring. I might have to do a little bit of dowsing and see uh, what I come up with. Um, yeah, all interesting. Lovely to have shame I couldn't get inside, but hey, onwards and upwards. Okay, it's starting to rain a bit. Let's just pop over the road and have a quick look at St Mary's. Mausoleum here. Oh, very, very nice. Can we give you any information? Yeah. Wow. It's a nice rolling hill beyond. It's actually quite a big cemetery. Pathway that goes down to a little street, so I have no idea where it's going. So, have a quick look. It's just a little road. Yeah, so, I think there, okay. We'll head back up and go up, back up towards uh, the crematorium and uh, call it a day. Well, thanks very much for joining us, guys. Hope you enjoyed my little wander around a church that was closed. Uh, if you have liked it though, do subscribe, please comment, any information about these places is always welcome, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>